Let me tell you a story. Once, there lived a queen of peerless beauty and compassion. She loved her people. And they, in turn, loved her. But one day, a change came over the queen. In the blink of an eye, her love turned to hate, her compassion to cruelty. Fair and beauteous though she remained, her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause, her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. The Emerald Witch, they called her. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the tyrant's body spilled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne! I pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. I await you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. Don't mind me. Not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud. Do you know anything about the Shadowblood Queen card? It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel in the Gold Saucer. From a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. I'm glad you I am the Dread Balon, the person responsible for Queen's blood. The Queen doesn't know what I'm up to yet, what I'm plotting, but we don't have long. Time is of the essence. You must show me what you are capable of before she discovers us.
plague. Not that I ever truly doubted your potential. I was right to leave you that letter. Letter? What letter? You remember, don't you? The inn at Kong. I hung it on your door, though I signed it in the proprietor's name. So that was you? Forgive my subterfuge, but I was in dire need of a skilled player. And you certainly did not disappoint. You were even able to best me. Which, while impressive, won't be enough. Not if you intend to hold the Shadowblood Prince card in your deck. That foul thing is the source of this nightmare. The very embodiment of the villain herself. Through the card, she feeds on the wielder's life force, claiming their strength, that she may one day be reborn. Countless players have succumbed to this vile curse. And now one more death is all she requires to return. Cloud, find the sorceress. She who rallied the people. She who deposed the queen, the Emerald Witch. Her card sleeps in Nibelheim with a monster of chaos. You must hurry before it is too late. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Sovereign. This is it. Only one opponent remains, the Monster of Chaos. I know nothing of their skills, but I have faith that yours are superior. Vanquish this fiend and the witch's card will be yours. Need something. <laughs> of course. Should have known I wasn't the only one seeing ghosts. Shame, though. Some stories are better forgotten, including the Queen's. Know about the witch's card? I heard you might have it. The Emerald Witch? As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours, should you prove yourself worthy.
It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned. That which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. This situation is graver than I feared. Here, she'll guide you to the Queen. The rest is in your hands. I see you successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. I noticed the card was radiating energy, which I took the liberty of analyzing. It revealed the location of the Queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh, and only you, the Blood Executioner, can bring it to a close. Best of luck. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? We'd prefer to have this conversation in private. Here it is. The source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until... I started fearing for myself. For what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever. And once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody! When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this... This isn't that at all. It's been speaking to me. Telling me to give myself to her power. To dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I... I can't. Regina? Ah, uh, yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet. What do you say? A match against your queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full.
Impossible. What foul sorcery. Uh, a cursed witch. Even in death, you would thwart me. You good? What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. <laughs> Cloud! Use the card! Don't you dare! Game over! Thank you, Cloud, for stopping her, for stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win, and look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. Few ever break free. You're the best because you worked your ass off, not because you're a genius. Got it? <sighs> Got it. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet.